Welcome back, one and all, to First Seven and Five. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we secured a route to Futaba's treasure. Sure. We got plenty of time to get the treasure. Sorry. Thief, confess your crime. Oh, is there no God in this world? The fuck? That bishop guy is too much. He should cut the other guy some slack. I'm more compassionate. Very eccentric. Indeed. I'm in your debt. I mean, that's not, I don't really mean it as an insult. Okay, let's go hang out with the dirty old cougar. Hey! Let's hang out. Hey! I don't. Mishima might. <laughs> what about their justice? I suppose some of her old homophobic tweets surfaced after years of staying hidden. Oh. It's for your article. Oh. 
All right. I said... <laughs> Holy hell, how does a bar run out of booze? I'm gonna go to the bookstore, see if they have anything new for me. Please take your time. Hmm. Oh, guts. Get my guts up. Hmm. Loitering. Yeah, get this pretty often in the Texas summer. You know what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, 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 skip this. Should get going on that today. Let's meet up. Yo. Huh? 
Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I mean, she's asking you to do this. She got the metaverse. about the post here. <clears throat> it cut, my audio cut out, and it's only a little bit annoying. We're sorry for... There's no... Hello, Futaba? You're there, aren't you? I should've let that play out. Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. She really won't. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. We're not mentally prepared. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Ten seconds. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? Medical science, information technology, biology, psychology. Wait, these are all technical books. That is correct. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? That's kind of what a shut-in does. Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? The closet? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? That's kind of what they do. Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. Or another door. This, this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Whoa, she talked! We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. Because logic. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. I don't know, she's not stupid. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? She understood it? She's not stupid. Why do you know about that? Uh. Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. Because I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that it easy. It usually isn't. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. <laughs> well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive science. 
Futaba, what was your mother working on? No telling. Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Shouldn't we do this later? She seems to have gone through some shit in the past. True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My, my mom was... The one who killed her was... It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. Or she's blocking the memories. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. I, um... A lot happened, so... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. She went back in! What's the meaning of this? Did, did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. Is it bad that I'm laughing at She's this? She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yeah. Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? This... I don't. Thank goodness. Okay then. Can you take me with you too? That would be a bad idea. Why are you even asking? Of course she can't come with us. I'll leave it to you then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, alright? Oh yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. Okay, my audio's picking back up. Sorry about the audio cut, I honestly don't know what happened, it just cut. It just stopped for no reason, I may have bumped the button. Uh, okay. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> no. I'm going to die. This poor girl. 
Someone's been through hell. Good. You again? <laughs> I love this song. It's called Life Will Change. Give it a listen when you're on your own time. Shit. Ah, uh, this ain't right. Yes. Went to the wrong one. Let's go.
done here. I can feel it. Huh. I'm just as real as I'm just as dangerous. I feel so numb. Good measure. Joker. Let's do this. Yes. If I use this, I can change my heart. Vocal input. Fu, Fu, Futaba Sakura. Sojiro Sakura's house. And then something about distortion. 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 Hmm? Not again. You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer! It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! Your fault! Murderer! No! <sighs> That's right. I remember now. Back when they were here, I... I messaged Doom in the chat and... I can go in now? No! You're a plague! You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! Don't come near me! It's your fault! I can't take this anymore! Beginning navigation. So is she a Persona user? What the hell's going on? Hell... Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? There is that over there. That's it? The treasure must be inside. All right, let's take it. Be careful. <laughs> There's something. I got a bad f Futaba. Don't tell me. This isn't Futaba's problem. It's her mother's. This is insane! If it's not a shadow, then what is it? It's a cognition! A monster that Futaba's cognition created! How can that be? Hey, look out! Snakes! <laughs> Here it comes! Do not approach the Pharaoh's tomb! Misfortune will fall upon you! Oh, look at it fly about! We can't reach it like this! We've got no other option. Let's take it down with our guns and skills! Get. Persona. How about Not ice? Except. Persona. Me, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Persona. All right. 
Let's weaken it. Too far away to even use the melee attacks. Oh, not good. Sona, some other way. I don't know their weakness. It's so tough. We gotta try everything. Lean on she. There. Queen, you're in danger. Someone take care of her. Go for a guard. Damn that thing. Beg pardon? What? Excuse me. Do not approach. You've got no other Persona. Let's think. I should have gone for Windbreak. I'll do that next turn. How about this? Persona! All right, Joker! Very smooth. Panther! 
there's days for attacks won't hit as often. Damn that thing. Okay, that was a survive. Persona! Calm down. There. Well, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to heal myself. Oh, this is a You can't tell? That's not helping! You have to tell us, Mona! I can't help it! There are some things that even I can't do! Okay, it doesn't matter if I kill the thing or not. I just have to survive it. So this is inside my heart. I didn't think it'd be like this. Huh? Do you remember? This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after Mom died. That's correct. Look at the next one. This... this is... When Mom jumped in front of that car. That's right. Now the next. No. Don't run. I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the Phantom Thieves. Okay. I'll look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died, I whined about wanting to go on a family trip, but she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what did you do? I threw a tantrum, told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. Ah. Uh, did she say... My research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Did she hate you? She didn't? But what? She smiled. Ah! My head! It hurts! Which is true! You're your memories. Huh? It's calling me? I'm not crying, you're crying! Shut up! <laughs> the hell? We ain't doing shit to it! Huh? Futaba? You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... That's... Why don't you say something? It's your fault. It's my fault. It's my fault that mom. That's right. You killed me. Wait. Is 
that monster her mother? Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. You are nothing but a demon who stood in my way. I wish you had never been born. That way I could have announced my results without having to waste my time on you. I poured my heart and soul into that research. It would have been the discovery of that what does she mean by that? Could she be talking about cognitive science? You're going to die! There is no meaning to your life! No one needs you! Nobody cares about me. I should never have had Futaba. She was always such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba-chan. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. <laughs> hey! We're gonna be in deep shit if this keeps up! So, because she thinks she killed her mother, and because she thinks she deserves to die, Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? Futaba-chan, look! There's no way that monster is your mother! It's just an illusion you created! B but She never abused you, did she? Boss told us! He said she did her best to raise you alone! Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Ugh! Your mother destroy all her research, Futaba Chan. She had worked so hard on it as well. It was the people around her. She lost her mind. And it's all because of you. It's your fault! Um, I... It's her shadow! Futaba Sakura, remember! You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints... about me. She was murdered! It was no suicide! Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me! Then what about the suicide note? Total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart. Get mad. Don't forgive those rotten adults. It's because I couldn't face myself. Poor mom's death. Even then, why did they have to yell at me like that? Butabachan? What denies you is an illusion, a curse put upon you by the Heartless. You knew from the very beginning. She has and a persona. Yet, you cowered in fear. Oof, that's right. I knew. Does she? But I... It's all your fault. This time you'll be the one to die. die. Will you die as you were told? Who will you obey? Cursed words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault! It's all your fault! I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! 
I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them! It's not a... No, she's controlling her distortion. That's... A, a ballista? Shoot it down with this, then beat the crap out of it. Ah, I get it now. Let's go. Time to fire? Yes. I can shoot it down. Do it. Leave it to Let's me. The ballista! You're mine. Dodge. Change direction. Aim the tip at her. Your health Come. is dangerously low. Hurry up and hit. I won't lose. Why am I not changing the persona? I hope that was a checkpoint, otherwise I'm gonna be really pissed off. This is my heart's world, right? Awesome! Uh, shoot it down! Uh, let's You want me to fire it, right? Uh, Go it. for it. Persona. Weak to psychic, but strong is physical inspiring. That's gonna have to be you. Kinky. Don't rush it. It's time. All right. Persona. Time to tank it. Persona.
He's gonna go for something big. Sona. There. That doesn't work on bosses. Prepare yourself. Let's go for a guard. Oh, and she's just going back into the sky. Watch out! You want to use the ballista, right? Yes. You want me to fire it? Go for it, Morgana. Your health is dangerously low. Hurry up and heal. Calm down. There. I'm in trouble. Persona! Out of our way! This again? Watch out. Oh, I'm glad I got that tank. Adjust vertical alignment. All right. Fire! Yeah, I need the group. I need some heals. You know, that could have been credited. Persona. Persona, prepare yourself! She's fixing to take off. Go down!
you want to use the... Me again? I already put Ballista is really heavy. I think I need to rest first. Me again? Yep, run toward the Ballista! I know you're tired, but I need... Arizona! Never mind. God, I'm able to tank this. Change direction. Aim the tip at her. Persona. All right. Persona. Ha. Persona. Okay. Oh, come on. The dizzy's not necessary. Despair on top of that? Oh, all missed. You're dizzy. Your attack might not connect. There. Thankfully, I'm able to just... Nice shot, Morgana. Come. Lilith. There. Hey, oh, Morgana focus on the group heals. Almost done. Okay, on, it's gonna be your turn on the ballista. I don't need a child who can find me. And the children I don't need shot me down. 
Are we doing this again? Okay, Morgana, you're hit with despair. Oh, not this! Damn it, it's back at it again! I can tell. With my persona. I'll let you know when the enemy's approaching. You're still okay. It's far away right now. Let's fire the ballista. Bullet I can shoot it down. Leave it Run to me. Run toward the ballista! You need to deal with the despair. It's <laughs> bad to just ignore it. No, you would know, wouldn't you? Let's go. It's coming in hot! Come! Let's kick its ass. No need to be fancy. Interesting to see Futaba play more of a support role. I'm not against that. It's always good to have aerial support. Oh, and Futaba is going to be a party member. I'm I already in love with this. Hell yeah! Swift strike. Ooh. That is better than Rampage, isn't it? Three to four times. One to three times. Yeah, that's better than Rampage. Whoa, a new move. Ambient A. Oh. Well, I'm never gonna. I'm. Pro Ooh. I honestly prefer sleep over confusion. Comfortable? Another thing showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba. Thank you for choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Mom! Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again! Are you being selfish again? Um, I... I love you, Mom! I love you too, Futaba. Now, you should get going. No, seriously, we should get going. This whole place is gonna collapse in out from under itself. Oh, right. Majed. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. Huh. Oh, right. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Like you're one to talk. But if we have her on our side... 
wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? <laughs> What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise. So let's quit standing around blocking one of the sh shooting the shit. Get the fuck out of here! Seriously, we need to leave! Catching up to us! Ronnie, here's a bitch! Hana, I turned into a car already! I know! I know! I... Hey, you guys still alive? I think so. I thought I was gonna die and... Uh, hey! Will you let go already? <laughs> <gasps> Sorry! <laughs> Not again. What was that sound? Hmm? What are you guys doing out here? Oh, um... Reminds me, where's Futaba? What about Futaba? Oh, um... Yes! We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea! We came to make sure Futaba was okay. We were worried about her. That's fine, but... I'm not thirsty, though. Will you learn to take a uh -huh. hand too? Oh, I almost forgot. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. You stay, you're a bit oblivious. Uh, okay, gotcha. Let's go see Futaba. Futaba? Can you hear me? Please say something! Please! Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Let her sleep. Hey, don't you know a doctor? You do. Can you contact them? A house call is going to cost you, you know. How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Yeah, she's, you literally just went down the street. Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? We really should. Mm. I think that would be best. Letting him know is really the only option we have. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, Futaba? Hey! Mm. Uh. <sighs> oh 
dear. Uh, um, about Futaba. Hmm? Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm gonna go close the store. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. So she's just dead tired. Yeah, Been there. I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay. But what are we gonna do about Medjed? <sighs> she's up! Mm, Medjed. <sighs> tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. <sighs> she fell asleep again?! <laughs> Futaba-chan! She's tired, let her rest. A bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up, either. What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. Well, that was certainly eventful. No, I question what happened to her mother now. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Persona 5 as I wait for her to do something about Medjed. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph signing off. Thank you all for watching. This one's been going for over an hour. I'm sorry it went on that long. <laughs>